My name is Mamoru Kimura. I'm just a regular sophomore in college, and... I'm going to curse you. Ah! No! I have an incredibly attractive friend. His name is George Malura, and his mother is American. His father is Japanese. They all lived in America, but he was interested in Japan, so he came to study abroad to Japan. I don't know why, but he really liked me since we're in the same major, and he invited me to his apartment that he lived in, so I brought by some horror movies for us to watch. Mamoru, we have to be careful. She's been cursed. Yeah, she has. Oh, you're so calm. Huh? I'm not calm. I've just come to terms with it. Terms with what? Well, we watched this movie, and now we're cursed too. Huh? Oh my god, Mamoru, what do we do? Are we gonna die? There is one way to be saved. What is it? Please tell me. Did you know that there were priests in Japan that were dedicated to fighting curses? Yeah, I know famous ones like uh, Semi, right? Yeah, Japanese people have that power from ancient times. If you can call that power upon yourself and protect yourself, you could protect yourself from Hanako or Sadako or Kayako, whatever it is. Oh! Mamoru, my dad is Japanese, so I'll be fine, right? Right? This is too fun. <laughs> I'm just messing around, George. Huh? You're lying? Ugh, you caught me again. <laughs> he's such a great looking guy, but he's always super reactive to all my jokes, so I have no problem spending time around him. George seems to like how much I mess with him too, so he's never really upset by any of my lies. Here's sushi. Thank you, it looks good. And it's a sample though, so you can't eat it. Dang it! Mamoru, why don't we find a girlfriend since it's summer? Huh? You mean like a, a woman? Yeah! Let's float on the summer beach! Then we can both get married to our girlfriends and build houses next to each other! I wanna live next to you forever, buddy! Oh, what are we gonna do living next to each other forever? We're both gonna have parties with each other's families every day! Definitely no! All the girls are gonna talk to you if we go to flirt with girls anyway. I can't see your future or they're talking to me at all. Even the ones that pretend to like me are really after you. Huh? I'll need a girlfriend. I've got like five girls that might be my girlfriend already. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna curse you. No! I spent a pretty good portion of my life in George's room, but then one day... George! Huh? Oh... George, you've completely turned into a Japanese person in the time that you've been here. No, no, I'm not George. <laughs> I'm joking. You're George's friend Mamoru, right? Huh? Yes? Uh, what about you? I'm George's sister, Irene. I'm visiting from America, and I'm going to be staying here for a while. So let's get along, huh? His sister? She looks so good. So where's George? Oh, he was out shopping right now. I think that's him now, actually. Welcome, Aneki! George! What's an Aneki? It means my sister! Oh, you've been studying. Incredible, George. I don't know if I should say something about how I wouldn't say that, but whatever, it's his sister. I didn't know that your sister was coming, George. I head home now. Huff? Wally! What do you mean? Your sister came all the way from the States. You should have some sibling time, no? No, no! The reason I was keeping it from you is because I wanted to surprise you since you always surprise me! I want to introduce you to her and... Where, where are you, are you going, going to take us? us? These two are both incredibly attractive and incredibly likable. Irene-san is going to be staying in Japan for two weeks. And that time, we're all going to go out every day to hang out. Both of them are so incredibly attractive while this flat-faced Japanese guy walked next to them. I'm not even good enough to make them look good. It was hot, so I started sweating from my eyes, but I had a lot of fun spending time with them. Shaved ice is so good. Japanese people are incredible. <laughs> you gotta say, Maji Manji. Why do you keep saying weird things, George? Weird is not bad. Japanese is so fun. I mean, okay. You could say Ito Okashi, too. Ito Okashi. Does that mean something? No, not really. I don't understand. Ah, oh, it was so much fun today. 
I'm gonna go home now. Huh? You're gonna go home now? You were just gonna send us off. Yeah? Momoru, you should stay over too. I'll cook for us. Come on, let's all eat together. I kinda wanna eat her cooking. Okay then, I guess I'll take your word for it. You shouldn't take my word, take her cooking. Language is tough. That night, I ate all her food and had a great night. <laughs> George is knocked out. He didn't even help clean. Momoru, you really get along well with George. Oh yeah, I actually got to know him relatively early on in his studies. We've been together for over a year now. George wasn't too good at Japanese when he came here, right? He was homesick, so he'd always call home, but he seemed to suddenly start having fun. It must have been because you were being such a good friend. Thank you for being there for him, Mamoru. Sure, I'm glad to have been his friend too. <laughs> He's pretty good in Japanese now, but when he got here, his language skills weren't exactly great. I spoke to George in English when he seemed to be having trouble and we got closer. My uncle runs an IT company in the States and he taught me how to speak English from a young age, so I knew how to speak some English. I wanted to work with him in the future, so I studied English hard. Then I started teaching George Japanese and the rest is history. I didn't know he was telling his family about me on the phone. Irene San was only here for a few more days and I took her out for George's request. She had a lot of fun looking at the Kaminari Mon in Asakusa. Whoa! If you like this sort of thing, we should go to Kyoto and Nara too. That sounds great! Let's go now! I don't know about now. I was trying to show her the most Japanese aspects that you could, so I walked around Tokyo to show her all of the cool places to go. But no matter where I went, she was cute and drew attention. I would step away for two seconds and someone would go talk to her. You live in Japan? No, I'm just visiting. It was almost always foreign men talking to her too. Oh, I see! Then I can show you all about Japan since I know Japan well! Sorry, but I was born and raised here, so I think I can handle it. Oh, I see. But your English is probably not good enough, huh? Excuse you, his English is fine. And I speak Japanese. Sorry. <laughs> this was the fifth time she had to deal with someone flirting with her. I think Japanese guys would probably try to talk to her too, but they don't speak English, so they're too afraid to try. Mamoru, thank you for coming out to help me every time. Oh, it's okay. Japan is so fun. I don't want to go back to the States. You can come again. But I probably can't. Huh? Why? I might not be able to see you anymore. Would that make you sad? Of course. Please save me. What's going on? Save you how? I don't think I can come back to Japan ever and see you again. Calm down. What's going on after you go back to the States? Well, I... Yes? I watched a curse DVD in a week's time. I'm... Huh? George! Oh, welcome home, buddy! You you scared her that much and left her all alone? A joke is a joke because you tell them that it's not true. Huh? What's going on? You lied to Irene-san and if you watch that horror movie, you're gonna get cursed, right? She hasn't slept in a few days because of that. Huh? What are you gonna do when she goes back home and gets all mentally sick from that? Words are powerful, so you need to let the person know a joke is a joke. I, I said that joke, but I told her the same day I was just kidding. Huh? So, this was a prank on me? <laughs> you were that worried about me? That's so nice. Huh? You're really pranking me? Oh, I totally took you seriously. Yeah, but... I really am sad that I won't get to see you anymore. I've fallen for you. Yeah, Irene-san. This isn't a prank or a joke. You come straight to the States after you graduate, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Yo, wait? Mamoru, I'll call you a Niki in the future. Then we can live next door to each other and have parties every day and... No. Afterwards, Irene-san went back to the States, but we kept in touch. After I graduated and started working with my uncle, I officially started going out with Irene-san. George also went back to the States after I went to the States, so I'm never homesick because I've got George and Irene. Japanese really is difficult, isn't it? English is hard too, though. 
What did you guys think about today's story? Let me know in the comments section. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.